how do we figure out the row? We figure out the period of how much sway you could have. So how would you do that? As always, physicists do torque. Sigma torque is R times F. What is the R in our case? The H times, what is the F that we're talking about? The mass of the ship, the weight of the ship. And this, imagine if we have a clockwise torque. I'm only looking at clockwise torque. So this would be minus. And what is sigma torque, I alpha, not zero, because it has an acceleration, right? It's going from one side to another. It obviously has an acceleration. So then may I write this as I alpha equals H mg sine theta. Remember, this is a cross product. For small angles, will sine theta be almost equal to theta? Trig identity. And can I also call M as rho V, where V is the volume displaced, rho is the density? Good. So then may I write this also as I theta double dot, because alpha was defined long time ago as D omega over DT which was d theta squared over dt squared, which I can write d double dot equals h rho v g theta. Oh, minus, I'm forgetting minus sign. Or may I write this as i theta double dot plus h rho v g theta equals zero? or theta double dot plus h rho v g theta divided by moment of inertia equals zero. So as always, this is our equation of motion. So then what will be the rho? Two pi square root of i over h rho v g. That's how we find the period. Which means the period is literally a function of H. So as long as I have the H for my boat, I can calculate the row. So usually boats are built to withstand thetas of about 40 degrees before they topple over. So they could literally go through 40 degrees of sway before they top down.